In today's What's in the Box, I have Batman Gotham City Chronicles, Phase 1 and 2. Let's take a look. There are hobbyists among us, geniuses with the ability to play any game they want to. In 1978, a corporation known as The Interior isolated a young hobbyist named John and exploited his genius for their entertainment. Then one day, their hobbyist ran away. Here I have Batman Gotham City Chronicles. It is for Phase 1 and Phase 2. Now, I had to go old school with this one because these boxes are immense. Now, what these are, what these, what my What's in the Box series is, is these are to give you an idea if uh, if you get into a Kickstarter campaign, a, especially a large Kickstarter, Kickstarter campaign, what to expect. And this is what I got for my Batman Gotham City Chronicles. I am pretty sure that this guy over here is phase one and this is phase two, but they could be mixed. So let's go ahead and take a look. We'll start over here and see what we have. All right, let's move this one over to the side a little bit. All right. So up first, and this is one of those things that I really like about the Batman game, just how simplistic uh, their boxes are. There's really not, it's just a whole bunch of great art right here on the cover. Batman Gotham City Chronicles. Let's see the contents. Um, which one this one is? Off the top of my head, I honestly don't know. Okay. And then we have, oh dear lord, the uh, villains box from phase one. Wow. And let me see, I'm going to put this over here. And because that's not going to work. All right. Let's move you over here. Let's go in here. Come on. Ugh. Uh, and then the heroes, phase one. All right. And what I like especially about it is you put these two boxes together and you have that full art. So there's uh, phase one, heroes box, villains box. Let's see what else we got in here. Ooh, some more Gotham City Chronicles extra stuff. Very cool. We have some extra dice, and I think everything else here is just packaging. Oh, no, no. They have an extra hidden, just cardboard. I wonder what this is going to be. This is going to be awesome to unbox this stuff to see exactly what everything is. That is it. That is everything for this one. Now let's see what we have going on over there. But already, I mean, just look at all of this. This is immense. Wow. And then here we have the next big box. I moved all of the other stuff over there. Let's go ahead and see what we got. Lots of packing type material. All right. Let's pull all this out. Oh my, look at all that in there. Okay, let's see here. What is this? All of the packing zones. Man. So this looks like it's probably all of the uh, individual extra uh, single models that we got. So in here, I believe uh, they're all going to be individually in here. All they're going to be all individually boxed. Um, so this is, these are going to be boxes within boxes. Or boxes within a box. And here's carton two. Yep. Carton two of that one. So there we go. Box one and two. All right. And that's part of phase two. And then we have another just 
plain cardboard box. And then, holy cow, then here we have all the, all the good stuff. All right. So here, this would be Arkham. Wow. And Wayne Manor. And then, here we go. I believe this is phase two, the Ra's al Ghul set. And the next one. Wow, very cool. And then the Suicide Squad set. Again, phase two, if I remember right. And the Batmobile, phase one. And I think that should be everything. Yep, that is everything. So let's get rid of these boxes and kind of take a look at here, see what all we got. And then here we have those two uh, little boxes, box one and box two. Again, what I thought was going to be all the individuals. Just went ahead and cut open the tape so I could open this up and take a look and sure enough oh, look at that that is insane now these I do believe are all phase two and then some more phase two stuff all right And the poison or yeah poison ivy that demon character all right and then over here individuals holy cow ventriloquist female This is an immense amount of stuff. This is one of those ones where at first I was like, wow, they don't seem to be adding a whole bunch of stuff in phase two. Oh my, all of these little individual guys. I'm pretty sure all phase two. So yeah, we only have those three little box sets, but then we have all of this. That's just crazy. Now, of course, I'll do actual full unboxings of all these. I'm just kind of showing you everything that came in this. Wow. So this is everything. So if you were to do the full Batman Gotham City Chronicles, you were getting all of these uh, individual figures or kind of uh, or sets of figures because some of them did have a couple in there. You have this 
Uh, I think this is the fifth player expansion. We have the uh, Suicide Squad. We have Batman Inc., if I remember right. We have the Ra's al Ghul set. We have Wayne Manor. We have Arkham. We have some other promotional material. And those, I have no idea what those are. But I'll look at those in a later unboxing. We have the Batmobile. And then we have... Oh, Lord of Mercy. The two core sets. So we have Heroes and Villains. And then, of course... The extra dice. Holy cow. That is insane. Well, that is everything that you will get in the Kickstarter for Batman Gotham City Chronicles if you go all in for the Phase 1, Phase 2. That is an immense amount of stuff. There is so much game content here. I can't wait to dive into this. Remember, this is just my what's in the box. Gives you an idea of what to expect if you go in at some of these large Kickstarters to get an idea of what kind of stuff you could have coming to you, uh, how it gets shipped, how it comes. Uh, it, it might help you to determine if a Kickstarter is something you would be interested in in doing yourself uh, to wonder, you know, are they really worth it? Are these big game Kickstarters Worth it? Do you really get a lot of content? And oh my gosh, do you ever. Uh, this Batman Gotham City Chronicles is a great example of just an immense amount of content that you will potentially get here in uh, a Kickstarter. Well, I hope this video has helped you to determine, help you to decide if this is something you would be interested in doing for yourself in the future, getting something like this or trying to get this game. Uh, it is Kickstarter exclusive, uh, but you might be able to find it on a third market, uh, you know, an after Kickstarter kind of a sale. Uh, well, until next time, guys, I'll see you later.